Do you know what blows my mind, ladies, is this film was set in the 1960s, but how relevant is it right now? This is all we've all been talking about. So, Phyllis, starting with you, um, it's incredibly timely. Um, is it set in the 60s? I don't know. It's, it's set now, yes. Um, well, we when we were shooting it, of course, there was all sorts of stuff bubbling up politically in the States. So we knew that the time frame would make it timelier but boy that scotus decision really was the impetus for us to say we've got to get this out mm -hmm. you know pretty soon this is jane how does it work joy yes get in no this is not a taxi you sit up front with me oh. well i think it's always a uh challenge responsibility and joy to work on something that aligns with your values um, and that you hope is is actually inspiring. You know, we were just talking to someone who said they cried after watching the movie because they couldn't sort of, the film really put into context and into a story and words how they were feeling about what's going on in the world right now. And I think when you make something like that, that moves someone in that way, um, it's really special. Uh, you know, I think Joy's story, we, we had a real specific plan about how to present this story and these women's choices as being brave and empowered. Um, we have organizing meetings. That's the address. How are we gonna get through them all? This 11 year old girl deserves oh, it. Well, this lady has cancer. She was raped. It has to be random. It's life or death for some of them. It's life or death for all of them. It's really complex and I find it really troublesome sometimes when I see men especially that just go online and say pro-life pro-life and it's like abortion isn't that right. white <laughs> come on like what well, life we have something that works we are of use yeah it's not perfect but it works well, Elizabeth you get to share a lot of screen time with the awesome Sigourney who we adore were you a fan and what were those yeah. moments like as women coming together and I'm sure when it was cut you guys were still talking about life and just the world, I guess. Uh, we were, for sure. I, I mean, she's obviously one of my idols in the business. Um, she's the original feminist in Ripley, you know, and I think uh, working with someone, all of the women, by the way, who came to set, all of the women were there, were really proud to be there. I feel like we really felt like we were representing a sort of an activist collective that we are actually in our own lives also a part of, you know, this, this, we don't, it's one of those projects where you're not separated from the messaging of the movie. It really is meaningful to all of us. And I think um, we felt that while we were making it, we, we felt like the collective that you see on screen, that was, that was a, an energy that was inside of it from just us being together. Makes perfect sense. Guys, thank you so much for the chat. Enjoy your premiere later. Um, and congratulations. I think this film is going to touch so many people. And let's hope, inspire people also to start really thinking about women's rights and allowing women to make their own choices. Yes. Yeah. Thank Have a great day. Take care. Thank you. I'm not scared of jail. I'm scared there won't be anyone left to answer the phone. Stand up. I need help. I don't know what to do. This is my fourth message. I'm losing my grip. You have to go back. Let's get to work. Stand up, stand up.